Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Economic Development and Trade, and it deals with the latest example of how this government lacks leadership in manufacturing. After 41 years of operation, the Canac Kitchens cabinet plant in Thornhill, as we've already heard this morning, is closing its doors and moving production to a facility in North Carolina. This closure represents a total loss of 1,000 manufacturing jobs in my riding of Thornhill, a riding that already has precious little in the way of manufacturing. These were good-paying jobs within a reasonable travel time for employees. I doubt there is a member in this chamber who did not at one point have Canac cabinets in his or her kitchen. Those days are over. Will the minister accurately tell this House when the people of Thornhill and the people of Ontario can expect the McGuinty government to wake up and take real action to save our manufacturing sector? Mr. Thank you, Speaker. And once again, to the people of Thornhill, we do regret that Canuck has taken this decision to consolidate its manufacturing base out of its own factory in the U.S. We know that these are challenging times for the manufacturing sector. We recognize that last year they also laid off 600 employees. I wish then that this member would have been so forthcoming a year ago when 600 had been laid off, and perhaps that that maybe would have changed how he voted in this own legislature for initiatives that are here to help manufacturers in this province. And last year's budget was a perfect opportunity for this member opposite to show support for the manufacturing sector in this province. We are working with our manufacturers. We recognize the challenges that they, they face, and at least this is one government that will be behind them with more initiatives to come. Supplementary. Okay, Mr. Speaker, I guess it's my fault. This is yet another symptom of this government's failure to manage Ontario's economy, a failure that resulted in the loss of 15,000 jobs last month alone. A thousand jobs in Thornhill lost from Canac as of yesterday, 15,000 lost last month, 50,000 over the past year, 207,000 since 2004. This government claims it is leading Ontario. The only place it's leading Ontarians is into the unemployment line. Mr. Speaker, will the minister finally admit that this government's only plan to stimulate this economy is to close its eyes, cover its ears, click its red shoes together, and wish the problem away? <laughs> minister. Thank you, Speaker. I will say this, that Ontario-wide, Ontario-wide, we have seen over 450,000 net new jobs. 450,000 net new jobs is something that every member in this House should be proud of. We recognize that within the manufacturing sector, we are seeing challenges the likes of which we have not seen before. That is why we continue to call on our federal counterparts to help us in this matter, so that when it comes to our manufacturers, the very sector that has fed the nation for decades now, and we, above all other sectors in manufacturing, see the strain of a high Canadian dollar, see the strain of a high price for a barrel of oil, that's when we need our partners to come to the table with us. And in the meantime, we expect every member of this House to vote in favour of initiatives that are here to help manufacturers, and that member from Thornhill is included, and we're going to watch your vote in the future. On Thank you. Thank you.